Mrs. Nui, you're about to release the first ECB annual report on supervisory activities, which also covers the preparatory phase up to November 4, 2014, when you became operational. What were the main highlights in this preparatory phase? One important highlight was the recruitment of the teams to recruit uh, about 800 supervisors and 200 people for support services was uh, quite a task in the small period of time that we had to, to deliver on this issue. Also, obviously, the comprehensive assessment was a huge uh, task that also had to be performed under a tight uh, deadline. Also, uh, preparing the manual, uh, operationalizing uh, the, the regulation, the framework uh, regulation, uh, creating the needed infrastructures such as uh, for IT, for example, uh, were quite a, a task. So what are your key priorities this year? Among the priorities for this year, uh, one is very obvious, uh, draw the lessons from the comprehensive assessment to make sure that all the quantitative and qualitative information that we got through this exercise is uh, fully uh, used for supervision. Another uh, important uh, priority is also uh, to finalize our methodology to assess uh, risk in the banks and to uh, decide about uh, the additional uh, capital buffers they, they need, uh, the, the pillar two capital they need to uh, face the, the risk they, they are taking. And uh, obviously, uh, we have uh, a number of other issues to, to address, uh, policy notes to, to prepare, uh, to make sure that banks are safer and sounder. And how about if you look ahead, you must also have some, some issues where you think, oh, we want to tackle these. So going ahead, what are the biggest challenges this year? One big challenge is to have a consistent, uh, better definition of uh, capital. There are too many differences uh, in the definition that are used by the, the SSM banks. So we have to address uh, the national options and discretions. Uh, the, most of them are related to capital, but not uh, all of them. So it's a big project to make sure that we have uh, fully harmonized uh, regulation and definition of capital uh, in Europe. Also, obviously, uh, a big challenge is to address the, non the level of non-performing exposures. Uh, this level is pretty high, as uh, was demonstrated by the comprehensive assessment. It's not a surprise after years of uh, economic uh, difficulties in Europe, but this is something that, was, that has to be addressed uh, soon. So thank you very much. I wish you a lot of um, success. Thank you again. Thank you.